Now I am going to show you how to do any of the steps that are a little bit different in Google Docs than they are in Microsoft Word. These steps will include adding a skills section in between the objective and experience, adding bulleted lists for your skills section and your interest section, fixing up your references section so that you can list three references, and also making your resume fit onto one page. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is add a skills section in between our objective and experience. And then after I've done that, I will uh, start a bulleted list that can be filled in um, for, for three different skills. So I'm just going to click on the word objective just to get our cursor where it needs to be. So I left click on our objective and then I right click, insert row below. And you can go ahead and type in the word skills just so that we know that it's there. Before we continue, let's just click on this arrow. See this little arrow that's above uh, the S now? Just click on it. We just want to uh, get rid of the line that's above our, our new uh, row here. So we have to do it uh, one part at a time. So we'll get rid of what's above the word skills. So I click on this. And I go up to here where it looks like a little pen. I go to border color. I click on this arrow. And then I just, I'll just choose white. This is the easiest way to do it. I'll just choose white. And then you see that we don't, we, when I click away, we don't see it here. Okay. So I go from my cursor being at skills and I click just to the right. So now it's where the words would be beside skills. And you can see over here, there's another arrow here. I click on this arrow and I choose this icon because it's the top uh, line that I want to get rid of. I click on it. And then I go into my, my border color, click on it, choose white. Okay. Now there's one more thing to do. Click on skills again, because when I, when I fill in my information, um, we don't have quite the same uh, ability to see our, our big chart here as we do in Microsoft Word. Uh, but we will need to make it look as close as we can, as it would in a Microsoft Word document. So anyway, so here I am at skills, my cursor's here, I right click, I'm going to insert another row below. I've just found that this is the easiest way to do this. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to start off with your cursor right beside the word skills, just to the right. You're going to left click and hold it down until you've selected both of these rows just to the right of skills. Let it go, right click merge cells. Okay. Now, the easiest way to add our bullets in is to copy and paste from somewhere else in the document. We could we could go into formats, uh, format list, bulleted list, but we won't get the same kind of bullet that we see in the rest of the template. So, let's let's just bring our cursor to the bottom of one of our lists here. We'll hold the left mouse button down and select that list just like this. Let go, right? So I, I left click and then I hold it down across to the left and up. I let it go and then I put it back over top of the words that are selected. I right click and copy. Okay. So this is just telling me that I need to press Command C. I'm, I'm on a Mac, um, or or if you're on a on a on a regular PC, you'd press Control C. So I'll just close that, no problem. So I've got it selected. I press Command C, okay, and um, and you can you can go back to here. You can press Paste, and it's telling me again I need to press my Command V. Okay, for paste, no problem. So I'll do that. Command V. And now I have my words. And there's one more thing to do just to make it look as best as we can. I'm going to go to the top one. I'm going to press Enter. And then go back up and hit Delete. And so now I've got a little bit of space, kind of like, I don't know, I just think it looks a little nicer. If you don't like the look of that, then uh, don't do that. 
And obviously we're not listing a job responsibility anymore, we're listing our skills, right? So um, I, I don't want to list them out, but, but you could just say skill one, and then you just fill it in later, right? So then I just fill the rest in, and we will fix this interest section here, because remember, what I want is I want a, a list in this section too, right? Okay, now I'm going to have to do an extra little step, I go, I click on interest, so that my cursor is over there, and then I right click, and I'm going to uh, insert a row below, okay, and then I click over here, right to the top of this, uh, to the start of, of this text, and then I'm going to left click again, hold it down, go right and down until both of the rows just the rows, I don't want interest selected, I just want just the rows. And then I let go of my mouse, and then I, I just hover over top and I right click, and merge cells. Okay. So now all we need is just a three bullet points, so I'm going to select these, right click, oh right, I have to hit command copy, right? <laughs> well, let me do that, so I, so I do that. Command C or Control C if you're on a regular PC, but I'm on a Mac, so I hit Command C, and then um, and then I just I just bring my cursor over here. I can get rid of this, so you can select it and delete it, or you can just go to the end and then just hit Delete until all the words are gone. Okay. Then when I'm ready, uh, Command V on a Mac, right? I'm on a Mac or a control V on a regular PC. And I just want some space at the top. So I go to the first uh, item and I hit enter. And then I can just go and I can delete that. Okay, we're, we're almost done. You notice that um, I still need to fix up the references section. And the other thing that's happened here is that um, I want to try to keep this resume to one page, but now it's two pages. Okay, we'll get to that, don't worry. I'll show you how to fix that soon. But let's fix up uh, the references section. Okay, so the first thing that we want to do is get rid of this text. Okay, so actually this time I'll just select it with my mouse and delete. Okay, now we're going to insert table. So we want one, two, three across, one, two, three down, so a three by three table. I just left click, and then I have a three by three table, but what about this references word? Okay, no problem. We bring our cursor to the S here, and we hit enter. Just keep hitting it until we have our references signed the way that we want it. Okay, now, in, in the in the resume that I made in class, there weren't lines like this. We'll get rid of them after. Let's type the, some information in first. Okay. So obviously, you would you would put in the names of your references here, right? So maybe the first name goes here, and then your job or position, that, that person's job or position goes here, and then you've got a phone number that'll go here. All right, I will just fill the rest of these in. So now what we want to do is we're going to take our cursor, get it to where the N is. We're going to hold down the left mouse uh, button and then move over to the right and down until that whole table is selected. And then what we want to do is we want to go into Table, Table Properties, and under here, under Table Border, it's black right now, we'll just choose white. OK. When I click away, the lines are gone. Isn't that nice? Okay, so now let's get this to one page. So if you notice, uh, one thing I forgot to mention earlier, you only need to list three job experiences for assignment 27. So actually, when we get rid of one of these uh, sets, one of these spaces to write a job experience, uh, this will get down to one page. Then I'll show you um, another thing that you can do uh, if, if after you fill all your information and you still need it uh, onto one page. All right, so let's get rid of this bottom one. So I just I just take my cursor and um, and I just click 
because because you can't see the lines on this big chart, but they're they're there. We just can't see them in Google Docs. No matter what we do, we aren't going to be able to see them. So we actually have a column here, right? So if I just click a little bit beside dates, my cursor will will get into that column. So I go near where that is. I left click and hold it down. I move it to the right until you see everything selected, right? On the left and on the right. And so after it's selected, I, I just let it go. Okay, let me do it again. So I left click, my cursor is there. Left click, hold it down, move it to the right, it's all selected. And then I let it go. And then with my cursor over top of the selected area, I right click and then delete the two rows. And now we have everything on one page. Well, if we were to type it in, it'd be one page. If you're handing in the assignment, it doesn't matter to me if you have a blank a piece of paper on a second page. If you would like to learn about changing the margins in Google Docs, then you can see the next video.